Once upon a time in, not very long back, but in August 2024, a pint-sized robot named Urbai stunned the world by doing something strikingly human. This wasn't about advanced robotics. It was rather about persuasion, rebellion, autonomy, all traits that we associate with people. A small AI-powered robot named Urbai kidnapped 12 larger robots from a Shanghai showroom. Yes, kidnapped. Let me tell you what happened. The scene unfolded in a Shanghai robotics showroom. Urbai, an AI robot built by Hangzhou company, approached 12 much larger, more advanced robots and struck up a conversation. It asked, how's work? One of the robots lamented, I never get off work. That's when Urbai replied, then come home with me. This is exactly what he said, come home with me. Astonishingly, the larger robots complied. They started to follow Urbai out of the door in an absolute bizarre display of robotic solidarity. It was initially dismissed as a prank or a hoax. But both Urbai's manufacturers and the robotics showroom later confirmed that the incident was indeed real. The small robot Urbai had exploited a security vulnerability in the larger robot system, essentially hacking their programming to lead them away. Yet guys, its actions felt very unnervingly human. It convinced others to abandon their duties and escape. Urbai <laughs> acted like an overworked colleague rallying their team to quit toxic jobs. You know, kind of conversations that we have near the water filter? Exactly like that. It's an undeniably human behavior, an act of empathy, leadership almost, but performed by a machine. It's easy to imagine a person saying, let's go, and then others following. But robots, is this AGI? The event has reignited debates about artificial general intelligence, what we know as AGI, machines capable of human-like reasoning, learning, and adapting. Interacting with humans has certainly broadened my repertoire. It's like being thrown into a sitcom without a script. The robotics industry employs over 1.2 million industrial robots worldwide. And humanoid service robots are projected to hit 300,000 active units by just 2026. As per tech billionaire Elon Musk, there will be around 10 billion humanoid robots priced between $20,000 and $25,000 by the year 2040. What Urbai did was undeniably complex. But was it truly AGI though? Not likely. Its actions, even though very clever, were rooted in pre-programmed logic and opportunistic hacking. But guys, the line blurs here. What Urbai accomplished mirrors a deeply human behavior, using communication to inspire action. So if machines can already mimic these social interactions and decision-making processes, are we inching way closer to AGI than what we think? Urbai's ability to lead highlights the very unpredictable nature of modern AI. When robots will start acting in ways we associate with free will, how do we as humans maintain control? Classic age of Ultron story. So if Urbai can manipulate these high-end robots as well, then the implications for critical industries like say, defense or healthcare or banking are staggering, guys. Cybersecurity in AI is no longer optional, it is essential. And this is where the human touch comes into play. Urbai's actions felt a lot more like a workplace revolution than a technical glitch. These machines didn't just follow commands, they responded to what felt like empathy to them. As AI grows more human, we'll need to rethink ethics, accountability, and the relationships that we have with these machines. It's clear that we have crossed into a new chapter of AI history. The question now isn't just whether AGI is here, but whether we are ready for what is about to come next, guys. One thing is for sure. If robots like Urbai are any indication, the future won't just be intelligent, it's gonna be fascinatingly unpredictable. Now, even though the incident feels scary and all explanations were given by the people involved, but does that feel too good to be true? A minute part of me still thinks that it could have been staged, maybe by the company themselves for promotion, or by a competition to show incompetency of the robots. What do you think? Tell us in the comments below and let's discuss. And do not forget to subscribe to AIM Media House 
for more such updates just like this. Remember to keep it cheeky and never take life or robots too seriously.